here with more the one and only Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. You, you know, you're making a great point. We're spending a fortune. You know, Biden put us back in the pa Paris Climate Accords. Why would, we, why would we pay the freight, the overwhelming majority of money for the Paris Climate Accords, and China and India, far bigger polluters, you know, China, in their case, they're putting on a, a coal-fired power plant every 10 days, and they're a developing nation that pays nothing or next to nothing, and we pay, you know, whatever, whatever amount of money we're throwing at this? Well, Sean, there's a lot to unpack here. President Biden, of course, has been president for two years. We've learned a few things. We've learned that under President Biden, the, uh, the Taliban got Blackhawks and unvaccinated Americans got fired. Um, we have learned that under the Biden administration, uh, it seems to be focused with ferocious intensity on the single most important problem today facing our nature, our nation, which of course is gas stoves. Uh, now we have learned in the past two weeks that China has been sending sophisticated spy balloons over the United States and our military installations for at least five years. And sometimes we have known about it and other times we haven't. Now, I'm not blaming President Biden for all of that. I don't know what he knew when, but I do know this. He knows now, he knows the details. And I think he has a moral obligation to go in front of the American people and explain to us what is going on. Um, I, I don't hate the people of China. I've been to their country several times. I love the people of China, but their leadership has black hearts. Um, China is rich today because of the United States of America. We admitted China to the World Trade Organization on December 11, 2001. China started cheating December 12th. And no one before the Trump administration was willing to stand up to China in Washington, D.C. And I don't want a cold war with China. I don't want a hot war with China. But I want China to be a responsible member of a stable world order. And to be blunt, as I've said before, I wouldn't trust, uh, I wouldn't turn my back on President Xi if he were two days dead. And that's just an unfortunate reality and the Biden administration needs to accept that. Um, the assertion that we should go spend $50 trillion uh, on, on climate change, which will not lower world temperatures a scintilla of a degree unless President Xi will do the same thing. And to be told in a committee this morning by one of uh, Mr. Biden's acolytes that, oh, of course, President Xi will do that. You can trust him. Y you know, it takes my breath away. Um, well, well, how, how do you respond, Senator, to Joe Biden saying it's not a major breach and Kamala Harris saying, I don't think the Chinese uh, spy balloon can, would hurt our ties? Uh, how, do you, how do you make that determination? And then add, to add insult to injury, Senator, then the Chinese are threatening us and threatening, uh, you know, retaliation against us. What do we do? Well, with, with respect to what the Biden administration has said, uh, this is serious. This is serious as an aneurysm. Let me say it again. What we have patched together from these briefings we've been getting, it's like pulling teeth, is that for at least five years, China has been sending sophisticated spy balloons that can stop and start and take detailed photographs over our military installations for five years. Um, sometimes we've known about it. Other times we didn't. Uh, it, it, if, if the most recent balloon had not been reported by a civilian to the media, would the Biden administration have told us about the balloon? I mean, the, apparent, the American people deserve answers, and, the, and this is serious. Well said, Senator Kennedy. We appreciate it. Great job today. It was uh, fascinating to watch.